In this video, I'll be using the UAC Protect module for FireEye Endpoint Security to detect and block a User Access Control, or UAC, bypass attack. UAC is a Windows feature that provides an additional layer of security via a pop-up acknowledgement when certain programs that require elevated privileges are executed on a machine. A UAC bypass attack is a popular technique used by threat actors and ransomware to execute or inject commands on compromised machines that they otherwise wouldn't be able to execute. There are numerous freely available tools that provide the ability to bypass UAC, such as the open source tools provided by the UAC ME project, which I will be using in this demo. A common program used by administrators to view and modify the registry is RegEdit. As you can see here, if I run the RegEdit tool, the UAC prompt comes up asking me to verify that I really want to run this program. If I select no, the process fails to execute and I get an access denied error. If I run regedit again and select yes, I am now able to successfully use regedit and view or make any changes I want in the system registry. If a threat actor connected to my system and tried to execute regedit without first bypassing UAC, the prompt you just saw would pop up and the user could thwart the attack. I've already downloaded and compiled a UAC bypass tool named Akagi from the UACME project into a temporary directory, as you can see here. Using this tool, I can simulate a common UAC bypass attack, which will allow me to successfully access the registry via regedit without any kind of prompt like we saw in the previous example. A threat actor performing this type of attack would now be able to access the registry and make any desired changes such as disabling security controls or adding new items to maintain persistence without alerting the user to their presence. Now let's log into the FireEye Endpoint Security Console and enable UAC Protect so we see how to defend against this type of attack. From the dashboard view, I'll navigate to Admin and Policies and select my policy which I've already created. I'll turn UAC Protect on and because we want to block this type of attack and not just log it, I'll also turn on blocking. Once I've made those changes, I'll click save and the policy will be applied. Now let's head back to our machine and try the UAC bypass attack again and see what happens. Using the same command as before, I am unable to successfully run the command and an error message is displayed. If we head back to the FireEye Endpoint Security Console, we can also see that an alert for this detection was generated with an alert type of UACP, and we have the ability to expand the alert for more details. By enabling UAC Protect, which is available at no additional charge to FireEye Endpoint Security customers in the FireEye market, you'll be able to defend against UAC bypass attacks like the one I've just demonstrated here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.